Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Your word, O Lord, your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Alleluia. Lord be with you and your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind man can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher. When, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove the splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your, your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Jesus Christ. Christ. St. Paul's letter to uh, Timothy um, is really a, a profound statement of faith and hope and love, uh, but it's also really an honest um, statement on St. Paul's part about who he is with Jesus Christ. Um, and, you know, we can uh, imagine uh, uh, actually uh, St. Paul saying these words to us. So he said to Timothy, but to each of us, we can put our name in there. My true child in faith grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. So in many ways that uh, statement is really a prayer calling us into the, the love relationship that God the Father has for God the Son and that love that passes among them is the Spirit of God. And so we're really in the, in the middle of it. And that's really what St. Paul experienced, especially when he began to look at his own life and see that he had sinned gravely. He had sinned gravely. He was a persecutor of the church, an arrogant man, he said. And he said, I have been treated mercifully by Jesus in the midst of that love relationship with the Father and the Son and the Spirit coming together. Um, and then his final prayer for us, is really, I think, what we bring into this Eucharist. In the Greek, indeed, the grace of our Lord has been abundant, along with faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Our love in Christ Jesus changes everything. So as we approach the altar to receive Holy Communion, it is really a moment for us to share in the abundance of faith and love that's just poured out to us by Christ. Let's pray for that grace.